Hey everyone. So today we're going to build a workflow in Paragon that finds the inactive users in our database and sends them a reactivation message. Okay, so let's start. Now, as you can see, you can trigger your workflow in one of two ways. Either you can run it at scheduled interval, and I think in this case, let's run it every morning at 9 a.m. Pacific. Now, as you can see, we can also trigger our workflow by sending it an API request, but let's save that for another video. Okay, so let's add another step to our workflow. And here, let's get the inactive users from our database. So let's connect to our Postgres database here. And we're going to write some SQL to get our inactive users. So let's get all the users whose last seen property was before, let's say, four weeks ago. So all the users who are inactive for four weeks or more. Now, let's go ahead and test our workflow and see what data we get back. OK. Cool, so it looks like we successfully queried the inactive users from our Postgres database, and here they are. Now, let's add a fanout step next. And so what this is gonna do is iterate over the array of inactive users that we fetched in the previous step. Let's call this inactive users. And it's going to execute the following sequence of steps for every user in that array. So let's go ahead and pass in the array from the previous step. And let's test the workflow. All right, so next, let's compose a message to send to each of our users. Now for this, we're gonna use a function step. So what this does is it allows you to write any custom JavaScript and insert it as a step in your workflow. So here, we're simply gonna compose a message. And to do this, let's pass in some data about each of our users. So let's get their first name. And we can call this first name. And now in our code, we can access that variable by saying parameters.firstName. And here you can compose any message that you like to your user. Uh, in this case, let's just give it a simple, hey, first name, and we haven't seen you in a while. Okay, great. So next, let's add a conditional step. And based on whether or not the user has a phone number associated with their profile in our database, uh, let's decide to send them either a text message or an email. So let's name this step, if the user has phone number, and then let's pass in their phone number from the previous step and check if their phone number exists. Now, if they do have a phone number, let's send them an SMS using Twilio. So here, you can connect your Twilio account, choose send SMS, and let's add in a phone number from our Twilio account. Then we can pass in the user's phone number, as well as a message that we constructed earlier. Okay, great. So if the user doesn't have a phone number, let's go ahead and send them an email using SendGrid. So similarly, let's connect our SendGrid account, and let's call this send email, and we'll choose the send email action. So similarly, here we'll add the email address that we want to send from. We can pass in the user's email address. We'll give it a subject, and we'll pass in the message that we constructed in the previous step. So there we have it. We just built out a workflow in Paragon to find the inactive users in our database and send them reactivation messages. And we did it all in about four minutes. Of course, this is just one example of the many different kinds of workflows that you can build out with Paragon. And I hope it gives you a good idea of how you can use Paragon to build out workflows on your own. Okay, well, thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you again. Bye.